Hello everyone, this is an installation and setup guide for the challenge, a game about digging a hole. This game is acquired using Steam for $4.99, right here. If you have any other version of this game on a different website or application, then it will not be permitted for this challenge, so be sure to pick up the Steam version first. The first thing we have to do is set up an input display called NoBoard. If you go to this link right here, which is also in the description, and press this link, the dot zip, and then we extract all the files. It might take a second, but you and we click this. It will turn up to be a blue screen, but don't worry. If we right click and press load keyboard, the one that we're currently going to be using for this challenge is JOAO7YT. And if you come to clean black, clean white, and press restart over here, then it will come up and it can read all your uh all your key binds which is a good thing that we're going to be using for proof and uh eligible for the challenge if you do not have this then you will not be eligible for the challenge and your run will get uh immediately rejected the second thing we have to set up is live split for the auto splitter and to time your runs if you come to livesplit.org and we go to downloads and we download the latest version 1.8.33 and come up here and once again we extract all the files this is going to take longer than the no board but still pretty quick not much time and we open livesplit.exe right here it should be in between these if not uh, you might have to go looking for it but it should be in here and since it does it it's an exe so it runs it as a um an unknown publisher you just want to press more info and run anyway uh yes so now we have here a live split if you go to edit splits and we search up a game about digging a hole it, the auto splitter is right here by Sobline. Um, we'll be putting in the run category any percent glitchless. And if you press activate and then settings, you can run all your settings through here. So you can go with upgrades, ores, achievements, and depth. Um, I would recommend turning off the spam final split in the final split. I would recommend using upgrades and depth though if for inventory shovel battery and jetpack and you know the 10 25 50 and 70 no these are not necessary um currently in my other split file i just have end as my only one um but if you go to edit layout and you go to splits and you double click on that you can change the amount of splits you have on screen so mine's currently one and it just shows the end split and so you can change this to how many splits that you have. Um, yeah, that's about it for live split. The next thing we have to do is uh, actually broadcast your game to Twitch and YouTube. Uh, We're going to be using OBS or Streamlabs OBS if you want. In my opinion, OBS is easier to use and more efficient. So the first thing we need to do is add a display capture. Now, of course, I need one so I can actually show y'all. But if you go down here to the add sources and we come to display capture and press OK. Uh, and then at the display, you press uh, your primary monitor or whichever monitor you are using. And for me, I have to resize it because I have an oversized monitor. But if you fit it to your screen, this will show all of this will show all of the game and the FPS up here which is very useful for runs and is actually necessary. The FPS is necessary for eligibility in this uh, in this challenge. If you don't do imp or if you don't do display capture and you do game capture, it will not show the FPS up here, making your run completely invalid. The next thing we have to do is do a window capture for live split and no board. So if we press window capture, it should automatically go to live split, but if not, you can uh, go to the drop down menu and click live split. You can place this anywhere on your screen, but try and prevent as much of the money as possible. Um, 
I would recommend putting it in here, here, or here. The one thing that's not allowed is the uh, money and the FPS and everything over there. So I would put it down here, just in my opinion. The next thing we need to do is create a window capture for no board. And this one is a little more tricky, so you might have to watch this a couple of times. If you do window capture, press OK, and go to no board, uh, then it will come up with the green screen. Now, we want this to be invisible because the green screen it takes up a lot of space so if you go to window capture 2 you go to filters you press the drop down right here and it should be called chroma key you press ok and it should automatically set to green which perfectly fits to make this invisible and that is all for obs um the another thing you can do is go to settings uh output or no stream uh service twitch or youtube if you want uh it can be youtube but i am using twitch in, uh currently and then if you press u stream key i'm not going to because uh it leaks all my data and people could hack me but if you press this and copy it and put it into your twitch then you can stream from obs the next thing we will be doing is the console commands. So if, you, if you're in the server, which you need to be for this challenge, and go to resources and tools and download this right here. And then once you download that, uh, it will say like unverified file, but you can just download it. It's not a hack, trust me. Uh, and if you go here, input.ini, you go back to Steam, and you go to a game about digging a hole, you go to manage, manage browse local files and then we go to digging game saved config windows and then we can place where is it we can place input.ini in there uh i already have it in here so it'll say replace but it shouldn't say replace um and then you press Control s and that saves it so once you have that all set up and you press play let's give it one sec then if you press tilde then you can a console command bar will come up here for resetting um open main menu is allowed um you can set a bind for it called set bind i would recommend z or x because it is on the no board um and then you do quotations and open main menu so that is allowed so if you press x then it'll go back to the main menu um, and then if you do set bind Z, uh, show flag dot lighting one or zero actually, um, then it will do full bright. I forgot to add a space. Make sure to add a space. All right, I guess my my game is broken. But usually it will show full brightness. Um, so yeah, that is all for console commands. That is the only console commands you can use. Any else will be immediately rejected. Uh, and if we catch you with another, um, another command that is in place right now, then you might be disqualified from the run. The next thing I will be showing you is the Steam FPS. If you come up to Steam and we go to the top left corner and we go to settings, then we go to in-game right here. Um, right here is the in-game FPS counter. This is necessary for runs. Um, even though it is hard locked at 120, um, changing FPS is not allowed for runs. Um, I would recommend, most chances are, you will put it in the top left. Um, some people put it in the top right, but if my live split is usually there, so I put it in the top left. A thing that is necessary is using the in-game FPS counter high contrast. If you don't have this on, um, and it's hard to see, your run might be rejected, unless if we can see it well, which you can set it to, I think, any color. I think it's just white, um... But this must be on. If not, 
and we can't read it, then your run will be rejected. The next thing I'll be showing you is Matcherino. So the current goal is 500, uh, 700, or 1k. Um, the main goal is 500, that would be insane, but if y'all want to participate and make more money, uh, then you can go to the higher prize pool and the higher, higher prize pool. Um, to participate in it, all you have to do is come to the left here and press join tournament, and then come here and press join tournament. And that's all. Right there. The last and final thing I will be showing you is auto hotkey for the auto clicker, um, so you don't get carpal tunnel, most, mostly. If you press download right here, uh, download v2.0, and then of course download again, uh, and then just press install, or you can put it to any, um, any drive you want, and you press install, and then you go, oh, it should, alright, it opened. And then you can actually close out of this. If you come to the Discord, and it is right here, agataautoclicker.ahk, and you press download, and then you press it. Uh, it's already running for me, but it, it won't say this. Uh, press yes. And down here, you can see that it is currently running, agataautoclicker.ahk. So if we go to a game about digging a hole, and if we hold right click, it'll say at the top, the Agata auto clicker is active. This is used for digging um, and digging only. Um, it's right click to left click. So if you hold right click, it holds left click for you. Um, it's mostly so like your hand doesn't start hurting during the competition. And it's overall a better experience so you don't get hurt or anything. Um, but yeah. Uh, this isn't required. This is recommended though. Um, if you don't want to use it, that is completely fine. You can you could spam if you want. Um, we don't really care. But that is the only thing. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and this setup video. And I hope everyone enjoys this challenge. Thank you so much.